What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Broadway Joel. If you like to stay up to date with boxing news, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So George Cambosos, after beating Teofimo Lopez, went on a tour, was interviewing with everybody. He even went to the Devin Haney fight. After that, he went to the Javante Tank Davis fight. And he was on a, a bunch of giving interviews everywhere he could possibly. And one of the places he went was the Joe Rogan podcast, probably the biggest podcast in the world right now. And I didn't like it at all, man. This dude went up there and made it seem like he beat the shit out of Teofimo. Like, he made it seem like he did Teofimo how Pacquiao did Cotto. Like, I'm like, yo, uh, were we? did I go to that fight? Like, I don't understand. He was like, man, I was beating him up. Man, I, I thought I concussed him. He, after the fight, he said he won 11 to 2. I'm like. First of all, I was there and I saw the fight afterwards. He said he won the fight 10 to 2. And I called Teofimo out for that shit too. Because I know that shit was a lie. Like, look. Look at the video right here. No, and what I didn't like from T.O. is how the fuck you going to go after the fight and say you thought you won the fight 10 to 2? Come on, man. You look like a fucking yeah. clown saying that. Exactly. You see? I call out people. When anybody lies, I call them out. You did not beat the shit out of fucking Teofimo to the point where he had him concussed, where he couldn't say 11, he couldn't even say 10 to 2, he said 11 to 2, and it's like, bro, that's not what happened. Don't make it seem like you really went out there and beat him up. And I tweeted not long ago that I thought you were good for boxing because I like the way Cambosos was going about things as far as not trashing Teofimo, knowing that Teofimo's young and... And he said all that stupid shit, but whatever, you took care of business and you took his belts and you go moving on forward with it. I like that. I like that about you, but you're not going to go on a platform, one of the biggest platforms and lie and me not call you out. Like, that's what I do. That was some bullshit you did there. Oh, yeah. You know, there was some shots. I was hitting him. I was like, oh, my God, how is he still standing? And I was like, what is this guy talking about? Like that, that, that it was a close fight. You got dropped too, you know what I'm saying? In the 10th round. So if you was beating this guy up so bad, he wouldn't have had energy to drop you in the 10th round. So I, I I didn't like his interview at all. I mean, I like his story. Look, the story is good as it is. You don't need to add all little extra shit to the story. The story. Listen, you came from Australia to New York City, his hometown, dropped him in the first round when he said he was going to knock you out in the first round, got up off the deck in the 10th, Cut him in the 11th and won the fight fair and square. That The story is good enough as it is. You don't need to add that, you know, make it seem like you concussed him. Also, another thing you said that you offered him a rematch in the ring, which you did. I was there. But Telfimo didn't express interest. You try to make it, make it seem like he was scared. Man, Telfimo not scared of you. He was he fought you one time. You don't think he will fight you again? He's been saying he's he's having trouble making 135. And that now, after this fight, he was going to move to 140, whether he won or lost. And guess what? He lost. I don't understand uh, how people... W w I don't know how I understand how Joe Rogan allowed you to get away with those lies. Because, yes, you did win the fight. And I'm not even arguing with that. When I went on live after the Teofimo fight, I got on here and said... The right man won. I did not think T.O. won. I didn't even think it was a draw. George Cambosos is the undisputed light, lightweight champion. But you going on a platform trying to make it seem like T.O. Fimo scared of you and that's why he's not taking a rematch. Trying to make it seem like you gave him a concussion so bad that he couldn't even do the math that 10 to 2 and he said 11 to 2. Uh... Trying to make it seem like you beat him up the whole fight when that wasn't the case. You came out there in box, bro. You came out there using your jab. You, you know, did you catch him with some shots? Yeah. Did he catch you with some shots? Yeah. It was a close fight. You probably won it eight to four. I didn't score the fight. I was at the fight. Uh, you probably won it eight to four at you know at most close. I think it was seven to five. But I, I honestly, again, I'm gonna need to rescore. But just off the eye test, you probably won eight to four. And yeah, each dropped each other. That's not a blowout. And again, you wasn't beating him up. You were outboxing him. You dropped him in the first round, the legit, legit knockdown. But after that, you really didn't land anything. Where, where I was like, whoa, they need to stop this fight. Or his father needs to consider throwing in the towel. At no point did I think that. And at no point did the crowd think that. I, I don't understand why you chose to go that route. And you said you haven't seen the fight. And in the interview, he said, oh, that he hasn't seen the fight, that he's waiting to go back to Australia and rewatch it. All right. When you rewatch it, 
Make sure you remember all the shit you was talking on Joe Rogan, how you beat the fuck out of him so easy. Like, remember that, because that wasn't the case. But all right, guys, I go live every single Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. If you guys want to join me and call in, I allow people to call in and express their opinion or debate me, whichever one you prefer. But all right, guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that like button to help me out with the algorithm. But all right, guys, until next time, peace.